Hey guys, Boris Lasser from BK, great to be with you. As always, please note the following video is for educational purposes only. No claim is made as to accuracy or efficacy of any trading strategies contained in this video. And as always, do your own research. Last week, I showed you guys um, a lot of different ways to scalp flow. And give me just one second, I'm going to try and see if I can pull this chart back in. And I want to show you that basically this week I sort of continued experimenting with the various levels. There is basically three strategies of flow trading that I think are worthy, worthy of consideration. The first one is the classic long scalp. You take it at 35 or at 65, at 65 to the OO for the long side, at 35 to the OO to the downside with a, with a OO stop. So it's a 35 risk, 35 profit with a 65 risk. The second strategy is sort of a variance on this where you take it at 50 to 75, where you try to basically take the meat of the trade, which is just the middle of the move um, as it accelerates all the way from OO. So it's got to accelerate from OO, you enter at 50, TP at 75 with the OO stop. So 25 target, 50 stop. The third strategy is the, what I call the bunker buster strategy, where basically it clears the OO uh, with a move from 50. So you have enough momentum there to clear OO, and then you try to take it up to 25 on, on the long side or take it down on 75 to the short side. So uh, let's just go through a couple of examples here. Here's one where we take, uh, I basically, I'm actually taking uh, OO to 25 right here. Here's one where it's a 50 to 75, which is like the classic meat of the trade trade. Um, here's one where I'm taking 50 to 75, another meat, meat of the, uh, you know, just the meat of the trade type of trade. Um, here's one where I take the um, the OO to, uh, to 25. This is really not kind of a kosher trade, but you know, good enough because I basically took the uh, the round number. It didn't really quite get down to the 50s level, but it was enough of a bounce that I thought it was worthwhile to take the trade. Um, I get clipped. I think. Let me see. Do I get clipped on this one? Yeah, I get clipped on this one. Here's a here's a false breakout to the 50 in Asia that basically completely reverses out in uh, late Asia, early er, early Europe, and then. We have a complete turn. Uh, let me see. Is this the night? Yeah, we have a complete turn in uh, Europe all the way to the downside. And here I take the move of the 50 to 25. Again, meat of the trade back down to the 45 on the downside. Here's another. Uh, bear with me here, just one second. Here's another example in Asia where I get clipped out. I basically you know, another sort of a false breakup to the to the 45.50. Then we we get stopped out at uh, 45. And those of you who followed me on Twitter Friday know that I basically said um, if you break the 45.50 on Friday to the downside, or excuse me, if you break the 44.50 to the downside um, on Friday, the unwind in the euro is going to have much more juice. And as you can see, you actually had two trades. You broke the 50 to the 25, which I took. Then you broke the 44 all the way down to 75, which I took. And then in the other, in the other account, I also did the long scalp, which was the taking the 35 all the way down to 4,400. So there was really three opportunities here to make money. What is universal about all of these strategies, depending on whichever one you want to take, is I think you'll notice the one key factor is that I am using a one to two risk reward ratio. In other words, I'm only trying to make 25 and I'm risking 50. And that sounds like it's really kind of insane or illogical or really uh, certainly not anything that they teach you in conventional wisdom. But one of the key things that I think you need to realize is that the markets are just not that generous. The markets are just not that beneficent to give you um, two to one risk reward trades. And furthermore, I will say to you that, I, that at least on a short term basis, and the reason, and I make this on a very much on a short term basis where you have a lot of back and forth um, price action, it is much harder to win four out of 10 times on a two to one risk reward ratio than it is to win seven out of 10 times on a one to two risk reward ratio, assuming obviously you know you have an intelligent setup, which I believe that these uh, the, the flow setups are. But the critical thing is you need to understand that there is no free lunch in flow trading. When you get clipped, you're gonna get clipped for twice the amount you risk. So you have to make you have to win two trades just to get to break even. And that's just the nature of the beast. Um, if you can't accept those odds, you really can't trade uh, trade this over a long period of time. But and people have asked me this all the time, which one do I like better? I honestly don't have a strong preference on any of them. I think all of them work relatively well um, under most conditions. If I had a gun to my head and I had to choose, I probably would take the, what I call the bunker buster strategy, which is 
taking the 44, taking the taking the 00 to the 25 with a 50 stop as the most robust of all the strategies um, um, on the floor that we trade. Even though I know everybody on Twitter who, who follows me uh, loves to trade the long scalp, um, I personally actually have been trading a lot more of the 00 through the 25s and some of the and, and the meat of the meat of the uh, trade, the 50 to 20 to 75 or 50 to 25 trade as well. But generally. The critical thing you need to remember is that this works best on the euro, probably second best on the pound, and um, the least on the yen, um, and occasionally well on the Aussie. It, it, a lot of it depends on, on how well the currency is going to be uh, trending or not. Um, bottom line is, I think all of these strategies are very, very worthwhile to pursue if you understand that you're going to go through periods of drawdown and you're going to go through periods of, um, uh, of stop outs. That are going to be relatively serious in terms of being one to two towards your risk performance. But at the same time, the only way I think you can make long term scalping um, success is by trading a one to two risk reward ratio. Now, I'm welcome, obviously, all comments, and plenty of you guys could disagree with me. But again, is when it comes to short term trading, I really don't think the markets are so generous as to give you all these ample opportunities to give you two to one risk reward factors on a short term basis. Some of you may have them, and I wish you the best of luck with them. But for what I found in the flow that the best way to structure your trades is to give themselves plenty of room um, on the downside and a limited room on the upside so that you can just bang away as many winners as possible. I wish you guys the best of luck and the best of trading next week. I'm going to be doing most of the uh, flow trades next week in Twitter. So as always, at FX Flow, watch uh, the trades going on. I'm primarily focusing right now strictly on the euro dollar just because um, – it is the best currency pair to trade these type of flows because it's the most liquid and the most active. The last thing I think I just want to leave you guys with is, as always, remember that the successful trades generally are happening when? During the North American session. The, the Europe to North American crossover is still the best opportunity to make money in this particular setup because that's when most of the flow happens. That's when most of the directionality happens. And as you can see, on Friday, when I called all the uh, long scalps and all the all the trades, that's exactly when it happened. It happened during the North American flow. You had nothing going on from Asia to Europe, and then suddenly all the price action happened here. This, I think, is the single most important thing to take away when you're examining these setups. I wish you guys the best of luck. I'll talk to you next week. Uh, more trades in BK, and obviously very much more on the Twitter at FXFlow. Follow me there. See you later.